All right, guys. So next up on our bubble watch teams, we're going to be taking a look at Appalachian State. Just lost in the semifinals of the Sun Belt Tournament. Now, the good news for Appalachian State is they did schedule a couple tough non-conference opponents that they did get wins over, but they also have some bad losses. So are they in? Are they out? Let's discuss. All right, so sitting at 27-6 and six at the moment. They have not updated this, actually. So should be 27-6 and six and 16-3 and three in conference play. Uh, so not, not a bad record here, first off. But if you got losses in Northern Illinois, not a tournament team. Oregon State in overtime, not a tournament team, but you're playing it away at a Power 6 team that has beaten a couple other teams on the bubble. So I think that's an okay loss there. Not bad, actually. Uh, you've got a win over Austin P, which is a tournament team, actually just made the tournament. Uh, UNC Wilmington, that's a solid win there. And then the big win for you is Auburn, okay? So they beat a top four seed, arguably, in Auburn. And that's a huge win for Appalachian State. It's going to separate them over some other bubble teams that don't have as good of a win as they do right now. So keep an eye on Auburn. That Auburn win, that's a huge win that we'll come back to in a little bit. Then you've got two wins over James Madison. So that's your next argument point. You've got a win over Auburn. You've got two wins over James Madison. You've got to hope James Madison wins the tournament probably. So you want James Madison to be the automatic qualifier out of the Sun Belt. We'll get to that in a little bit in a minute. Uh, dive into that a little more. Uh, I've got a double overtime win over Toledo. At the moment, Toledo is in my tournament field. They're currently leading their conference. They are the one seed in their conference tournament, so that should be another tournament win for you. And then lost today to Arkansas State. So the thing I want to focus on, like I said, they've got a few tournament wins, Toledo and uh, Auburn, and then also Austin P and UNC Wilmington is a good win. Then you got the James Madison win. So the reason I want to focus on James Madison is because, all right, Michigan State is now on the bubble, okay? They've dropped – to the bubble, and the reason I want to talk on, on that is because James Madison beat Michigan State in the non-conference. So if it comes down to comparing resumes head-to-head, -head, all right, now I know they're going to talk about quad one, quad two, mm -hmm. quad four losses, all that crap, but let's focus on this for a second. Okay, so let's say it comes down to Appalachian State and Michigan State. All right, you've got a win over Auburn. That's good for you, but talking about James Madison, you beat James Madison twice. James Madison beat Michigan State. So, technically, that probably makes you the better team. I think Appalachian State at the moment is in. I have them in my last four in as of now. Now, it could change depending on what goes down over, you know, the next week and other conference tournaments. There could be a few more bubble spots open up. Right now I have six, or there could be less, you know, depending on what goes down, if there's a few bid stealers out there. But I think at the moment Appalachian State is in. Like I said, right now I have them in my last four in. I think they are a tournament team. And you got to reward them for scheduling Oregon State, scheduling Auburn out of conference. And I think the committee will do that. They have a pretty good resume, I think, and I think they should be in. But let me know your thoughts on Appalachian State. Should they be in the tournament? Are they in your last four in at the moment? Should they be in? Yes or no? Let me know. Comment down below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe.